this episode i'll be just giving you an update basically on the crypto market how to navigate things not financial advice you do need to do your own research but i just want to i don't know be like your your shaman i guess so essentially we have uh look we have this long-term bitcoin analysis i guess the market has its cycles or whatever you can see there's a strong bull run then there's a bear market then there's one the first accumulation phase um an expansion i guess as it says here and then a second accumulation phase and this cycle has repeated three times so i think it's safe to say it's going to repeat for a fourth time uh up to you guys what you want to do with your money personally i'm all in with this shit because yeah i'm trying to i'm trying to make bank but yeah up to you guys it is very very risky but with my i don't know with my advice and your own research then you should be okay um, but yeah, never go all in on one cryptocurrency because you get wrecked, son. And we ain't about that on this channel. So yeah, as you can see here, we've already had the halving. Uh, that was in May, 11th of May. So we're in June now. That's what two months afterwards. Um, basically, end of end of Ju end of July we're at. But yeah, Bitcoin for the last I don't know last during this whole year basically has been struggling to get above 10k. We've hold, we've held above, oh, we're above 10k at the moment, but I would wait until you know we have a slight retracement before you want to put your money in. Although it depends on what your you know your risk, your appetite for risk is, because essentially this market is super volatile. It's going to go up, it's going to go down. It's never going to go back to 3k or 6k or anything like that. In my personal opinion. So anyone who's telling that shit, don't listen to them. But I could be wrong. Even if it does go down, don't sell your coins. You need to add if it goes down because then you get a better return on your investment when the price does go back up. I know it, it seems crazy, it seems scary that you know if you put something, if you put in like a grand and it goes down 30%, then you've lost 30% of your net worth. But that's why it's not good to invest everything in one go. You need to be smart about how you're doing this. Essentially, we are like super, super early, and when this shit gets to the in the news like you know people are going to be firmer and everyone else is going to want to buy bitcoin that's going to drive the price up and i predict that will be if things continue at the rate that they're going then that will be probably by the end of the year because as you can see here this is like the the trend line or whatever you can see here is the trend line um so yeah maybe end of the year who knows but anyway like, as you can see here similar to the chart i just showed you guys this is like you know ascending triangle i guess but what i wanted to really show you though is that you know this is a logarithmic scale on a weekly scale so this lets you essentially see things without having to um how do i describe it what do i say it lets you see the price data without having to like sort of zoom in and out basically it gives you like I, d I don't know how to describe logarithmic i didn't go to university so I, I don't know but you mathematicians out there you know what it means okay look back to normal so you can see here this is the long-term support line this is the long-term resistance line this is the all-time high in 2017 or december or whatever uh 20k and you've seen here we've tested this resistance multiple times we tested the support multiple times we even tested it you've seen it's gone back and forth back and forth i don't need to, to say um essentially according to the stock to flow model which is somewhere online if you follow plan yeah if you follow plan b on twitter his name is 100 trillion something or something like that i'll put something on the screen to show you guys he gives you updates on how things are going in the crypto market but essentially if things were to go according to the stock to flow model then I've sort of mixed up two different data, data models. Um, there's someone called Benjamin Cohen who does like statistical analysis based on risk. And his stuff is actually quite accurate. I would recommend you guys check out his channel. Other YouTubers to check out who know a lot more than I do. People like Ivan on Tech, um, Altcoin Daily, and maybe MM Crypto. But other than that, people get a bit weird. So yeah. This is like the least expected return on investment. It's not guaranteed to happen by this day. It could be, you know, a 
month, a year later. But 100k is the target in what two, three years. The highest it can possibly go to, according to Plan B stock to flow model, is 288k. That's slightly just under that. But yeah, you can sort of see based on the breakout that you know we're sort of sticking to this this channel if you wish and it goes back to you know this third halving sort of thing anything from may 18th to 2022 whatever that's the ball on guys so i'm literally giving you a lot of information so it would be kind if you can you know use my links in the description where we both either get a small bonus or you just get something beneficial to you. I don't know. Just use the links in the description as a way of saying thank you, I guess, because I'm not gonna charge you for this information, even though I should, and a lot of people do. Um, yeah, that would be nice of you guys. Um, also, I'm gonna be releasing videos on how to trade. Uh, just simple stuff, nothing too complicated. And I'll also put those links in the description. That'll probably be released sometime this week. But yeah, that has been that part of the video. Now I'm going to show you guys how to pick altcoins. So essentially, you have I have three different resources. Okay, so the first resource that I use is called Luna Crush. Luna Crush compares all of the different cryptocurrencies and it ranks them based on their social metrics. So how much they're being talked about, how many links are being shared, uh, you know that, that sort of thing. <clears throat> and it's done on a daily basis. You use the markets to sort of filter out which coins are good, which coins are bad. So once this loads, then um, I'll sort of go through it with you. But essentially what we want to be seeing and what we have been seeing is the Bitcoin dominance go down. A couple months ago, this was around 62, 63%. So what that means is that as the Bitcoin dominance goes down, the altcoins, they are rising in market cap, essentially meaning that the bull run is here. So yeah, you can see here, um, Galaxy score, anything above 50 is good, but if you want something that's really bullish, then you, you want, you know, 60, 70 plus. And voila, what do you have here? Altcoin rank, the lower the altcoin rank is, the better the coin is. Um, you'll see here, so Elrond, shit, Elrond's gone up by fucking... I, I checked this earlier on today, it was up by like 50%, which is nuts. I was going to buy this as well, but... I doubted myself. <laughs> so many times I've doubted myself and I've lost out on gains, man. It's like quite annoying, actually. Um, but yeah, what you want to do is if you're going to pick an altcoin, essentially you need to. Oh, sorry, you need to pick an undervalued altcoin. You don't want to chase rallies because what happens when you chase rallies? Let me show you. ERD BTC. And also, what you want to be doing is you want to be trading these altcoins in Bitcoin because they go up a lot more. They, they, yeah, they hold their value a lot more um, than they do against the dollar, if that makes sense. As, essentially, the aim of this game is to stack as many Satoshis as possible. So look, if you buy at a peak, it's going to go down. If you buy at a peak, it will go down. Don't buy at a peak. You buy when it's in a red zone. And it's hard to sort of time it, whatever. Even if you buy it like here, the first red handle, the second one, whatever it is, you have to sort of wait a couple of days, weeks before it has a pump. But pretty much there'll be a certain point in the time where shit things just keep on going man. there'll be a certain point in time where everything just pumps everything but essentially what we're doing is as Ivan on tech is we're playing 3d chess so you're not buying these pumps here you're buying shit when it's like here or like here and you've confirmed that you know it's in an upward trend because if you buy from here let's say to here that's a 10x return on your investment 10x 10x name me another market that can do that for you i'll wait exactly i thought so so yeah don't be buying these peaks because if you buy these peaks that's what minus 30 percent you could have put that money in something else so um yeah i'll be releasing a list of like altcoins that you can low gem altcoins not low gem low market cap altcoins that could explode just like this we've missed this pump but there is potentially a lot of room for growth I don't, I don't know i would wait for a severe retracement something similar to this before you want to buy into it because this is 
yeah, it's a recipe for disaster if you buy into that now. But yeah, what was I saying? Um, essentially, you want to go on on Luna Rush, Luna Crush, sorry, and then you sort of find the coin that you like. You click on it, and then you have a look. So let's say I wanted to buy Ethereum. So luckily, I bought like 2.9 Ethereum yesterday. I converted all my altcoins, so I've made I don't know, like seven percent gain on that prior to what I've already made. Um, so you can see Ethereum's in a good state. The reason why Ethereum is pumping is because they're having their test net and essentially what that means is they're transitioning from normal Ethereum to Ethereum 2.0 so they have to do a bunch of tests so a lot of people are hyped and it's going to pump the price. Um, so dates to watch out for are the 4th of August as that's when the test net launches I believe. So yeah, watch out for that. Um, like I said guys, don't buy the pumps and then yeah when you're on this website whatever it gives you a different different time frame so one day week to a year and then it gives you all the different metrics so you can go on about to find out what the coin does um then you scroll down to see what the social sentiment is often if you go through these comments you'll you can find people who sort of give out bitcoin signals not bitcoin signals just signals in general so um that can be another good way to find low cap gems because a lot of the time you only find like good coins that are about to pump or you, you'll find coins that have pumped already on this website but you won't you can't this website doesn't help you find low market cap gems so that's where following people on twitter comes into it also if you want to buy low cap gems sorry this video is going to be kind of long but there's a lot to cover if you want to buy low cap gems you need to go on KuCoin. KuCoin is generally the marketplace for low cap gems and not all of them will pay off but a lot of them down the line will so I'll be making a video on KuCoin and yeah once you've gone on token metrics or whatever and let's say you found Ethereum you'd want to check Ethereum here this I can spell so you can see it's the number two altcoin or number two cryptocurrency it's not really an altcoin this is like an og it's been around and if you guys don't know um basically ethereum is like a I don't know how to describe it think of ethereum as like the foundations of like society or whatever like think of it as like the roads on which cars are driven on and all of the other cryptocurrencies are the cars that drive on ethereum so that demand for Ethereum, um, actually this, this is getting a bit too long because it's, it's quite difficult to hear. But just yeah, think of Ethereum as the road that which all the other cryptocurrencies are driving on and they all need Ethereum to drive. What you want to do is just have a look through, see what the coin is saying, if it gives you good tingles then it's probably a good time to buy as you can see here we are still 77 percent down from our all-time high what does that mean guys that means there's a lot of room for growth and excuse what i said earlier that was incorrect if you bought ethereum in 2015 you would have a 750x return on your investment let that sink in there's no words that that can describe how crazy this market will be and how, how much money that you're gonna make. But essentially what I'm doing is, big, like Bitcoin is nice, but the majority of the gains will be from altcoins. So Ethereum is a lot more affordable to buy one Ethereum. One Ethereum is like 240 pounds, whereas one Bitcoin is like seven grand. So, you, you know, if you buy, I don't know, however many Ethereum you can afford, um, you'll be in a good position basically <laughs> um yeah so i know this video has sort of been all over the place but that's sort of been i don't know like a rough guide on how to oh oh yeah one more thing one more thing another website that is really really helpful is tokenmetrics so tokenmetrics is like an ai research website or whatever and it's quite accurate it's um let me just show you what i mean Essentially, they give you like price predictions over a 30-day period. You can see here for Bitcoin, it's been quite accurate. 
So it was graded overall, then it's given a fundamental grade. So this would mean, you know, real world use case and you know, how it's affecting everyone. Then the, te uh, then the technology behind it. So obviously Bitcoin is the first cryptocurrency out there. So it's an OG in that, in that regard. And then the technical analysis. So, you know, how the chart is looking. I don't like how this thing is giving me my personal information. Anyway, how the chart is looking and um, that's that. So yeah, you can see here, if you go on price predictions, bear with me. You can see that for Bitcoin, it's been the most accurate. It's been basically above 90% accurate since 2019. And you can see here that now it's sort of starting to follow its projected um, course. But you can see for yourself how accurate this thing has been over a period of a year. Hold up, what's going on? Yeah, you can see here, hasn't been, you know, hasn't followed it to a T, but more or less it's predicted it. Whether it's, you know, whether the price movement has happened before or after the token metrics have suggested it, you can sort of see that it is quite accurate. Um, so yeah, unfortunately it only gives you a 30 day proje projection. So just bear that in mind. But yeah. Um, Another good thing about token metrics is that it sort of gives you the ability to create an index fund. So with that, you can essentially put your money, you can create an index fund. If you guys don't know what an index fund is, it's basically a mix of different investments all in one pot. So you can see that they're, well, okay, well, just to break it down, this, is, this gets updated every month. There's different options that you can choose. You can choose Trader, which would be someone who's buying and selling on either a daily, weekly or monthly basis and then there's a value investor who's someone who's investing over a period of months to years and you can choose your time horizon and also your, your style. I would go with Trader because personally I'm sticking with Bitcoin and Ethereum as those are the two not least volatile but most secure cryptocurrencies out there. The rest of the altcoins are just I don't know, some of them are hit and miss, some of them, like if you're, if you're not in the top 100, then it's a bit hit and miss. Um, essentially, the lower market cap you go, the riskier it gets, but the higher reward on your investment. But yeah, that's that's that basically. You can see here, Token Metrics has got a 5x return on your investment just for the month. So what I'm planning to do is have my Bitcoin and Ethereum just sitting on the side and at my Cardano as well. And then all of the other the leftover money I have, I'm just going to put it into an index fund such as this. I may even sell some of my Bitcoin just to fund my my index fund. And if over the period of a month I can get a 5x return on investment, then I'll be laughing because let's say I put in £500, that's what, 2500 just from a month, just from doing nothing. So this thing isn't always accurate, by the way. Sometimes the price of these coins may go down, sometimes it may go up but something you need to bear in mind. If you guys are interested in token metrics, I wouldn't start your trial now. You have a two week trial. I would recommend you start your two week trial on the 1st of August when this list gets updated and you get the most value. Um, so yeah, that's sort of been how to pick gems. I think I've gone through everything. Uh, just another thing, just to say, I know it's been all over the place, this, this video, it's not been, it's been well structured, but sorry about that. But essentially, yeah, anything, if you want like, if you want to make an, a thousand X or more, not that it's guaranteed, but if you want, want to do that, uh, you're going to need coins that are like 30 million market cap or lower, just because of how it, how it works, you know, yeah. with, like the bigger the market cap is, the harder it is to move a coin. So that's why if you get in when something's like quite quite small in terms of like a, I don't know, a thirty million dollar market cap, hundred million, ninety million dollar market cap, there's a lot more room for growth in comparison to something that's a hundred and eighty eight billion. You see what I'm saying? So um yeah, I hope that sort of helped you guys. I know the video's been all over the place if you got any value from this make sure you hit the like button subscribe share with a friend but yeah it's important you guys i don't know i'm taking this shit seriously because this could make me rich and 
I like money, so um, that's why I'm taking it seriously. But yeah, hope you've got value from this, and uh, yeah, see you in the next video, guys. Bye bye.